Skills 2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay, you can see the same source what you have in the HTML file. Okay, so just right click on that page and just say view page source. All right. Okay, so just say Jairam and Rauf do a submit. Okay. Now it says HTTP status 405. Met HTTP method post is not supported by this URL. What does that mean? It means that as you are using a method equal to post, your hello student, which is a servlet, it does not support your post methods at all. Okay. It only supports your get method. That's what we have seen here. We have got a get method here. So what are we going to do right now? Uncomment this and copy the same code out here. Okay. I'll just say in post. So go back. Uh, the server got started automatically and go back here and just do a submit right now. Okay. You have to complete. All right, so just do a submit here. Okay, so it says I'm in post. Okay, now if you use both get and post, it doesn't matter right now. If you use get or if you use post, it doesn't matter. It either will go to your get or it will go to your post. Right, so if you just go back, submit, it goes to, sorry, I have to refresh this page. We do not refresh basically the, the content of that stays back. Okay. So you have to refresh the page so that to reload the HTML. All right. So you get it as in get method. Now, if you see here, one thing, uh, I have basically replicated the same piece of code, which is there in get, which is there in post, right? How do I get rid of that? Even though it doesn't matter whether somebody is giving a get or a post, I have to capture this information. Okay, and this information has to be processed. Now, what do you mean by processed? That means I want to capture these names. I want to do something, okay? Okay, then the next task would be for you guys is, uh, as of now, uh, we saw how to send the request, uh, send the values from your HTML to the servlet. I would tell everyone to have the JDBC code out here, okay? So that you capture the first name and the last name and insert the information in the database. Okay. Kirti, JSP. I did. Okay. Kirti, was there a question or what it is? We just typed in JSP. Nothing. Okay. All right. So I would uh, uh, expect you guys to come up with an example wherein uh, you have all the structures. You even know how to write your JDBC programs. So have this program, copy the information from a JDBC program, uh, have your database connectivity here, right? So the moment you come to your do get your do post, get the connection, write all the connection utilities, or you can even have an external class. Okay. Have a class with the help of that, wherein you can just capture the first name and the last name, and then insert the information to the database. After inserting that information to the database, you can say the data has been successfully inserted. Okay. So this is going to be an assignment for you guys for tomorrow. All right. So what should I do out here? Because uh, Jiram, I have a quick Jiram, question. I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Uh, I could not understand uh, after like uh, the get and the post when uh, we use the do get method and the do post method. I understand that we cannot use the get method for the the do post right mm -hmm. yeah I, 
I could you please uh, tell this briefly? Uh, yeah. Okay. So here, as I said, uh, do get has got some limitations. Okay. So here, when you talk about your get method, it has got some limitations because uh, the maximum characters what you can you can send is your one zero two four. Okay. So that is the maximum character you can send it in the URL. You cannot if it exceeds, you cannot your your basically your data will be will be missing. Okay. Now it's very small out here. If you count also, it is not more than that. So if it go exceeds beyond that, you are in trouble. Because usually when you talk about form, you might be having 100 fields or maybe 150 fields, let's say for example. Okay, in that case you cannot use get because it has got a limitation. In that case you will go and use your post. So there, when you talk about post, there is no limitation on how, what is your length of data you are sending it to the server. Okay, in get you have got a limitation. In post you do not have any kind of limitations. Okay, so that is one major difference. Okay. But again, uh, if you know you are using only a get and your data is very small, and moreover, when you use a get, if you see here, you can see everything in the URL. Now, when you talk about your username and password, you will never use a method as post. Okay, you will always go for your sorry, you will not not use your get method here because if you say get, your password password will be visible out here. Okay. So if I say here input type equal to text, input type equal to password, this is my password. Okay. If I go back, uh, refresh this page, I know this is my first name or last name and password, right? So when I do a submit here, my password is coming up over here. Okay. So in that case, you will never use a method as get in your HTML. Okay, always you will go ahead and use post. Okay, so that is one. Oh, Jaram, is post, uh, did post method come later on in Java? Uh, um, uh, no, this is. I remember. This is not in Java. This is in HTML itself. Um, okay. Okay, okay. So this is not. Java. It is not part of Java. In order to support that, we have the do get and do post methods accordingly. Okay. Now, as we are talking about the complete server side technologies, so this is what it is. All right. Now, uh, Saroja, did you get the get the point, the initial point? Uh, uh, yes, Jaram, I got uh, what you said, mm -hmm. but then later on you mentioned that in the do get method, mm -hmm. we uh, there is nothing like post, right? There is nothing like post uh, here. Like means you right? Am I right? Like when you when we use we are not using the service method, and we go and use the do get method, then mm -hmm. the we are not using the method post in the HTML, correct? Right. Yeah. We, and when we use mm -hmm. the yes, please. Go ahead. And when we use the do post method then we cannot use the get method we have to use the post method in the html anyway uh, right so uh, let me go back to go, come back to the point again so you will understand it right now okay that's what i was heading towards all right now all right. here the problem is when we are using get uh, we are supposed to use the get method when we are using a post we are supposed to use the post method okay uh, why did they why they have given this in specific because uh, to be more specific what kind of methods you are going to use you, they have got their own specific method otherwise you can very well go and use your service method in general also okay now when the situation comes wherein you have your do get or do post right so what I'm, what am i going to do right now is uh, i will have a post okay i know whenever i do a submit it comes to the post method in the post method what am i going to do is i'm not going to have this in picture instead i will say do get okay in i will call the do get in this case correct so what happens is the request comes from my html it goes i know the method is post it comes to the servlet it comes to the post and the post basically communicates to the do get okay now if i change this method as get doesn't matter to me it comes back to the servlet it comes to the get method and it does its own logic out here okay now my code is very much generic even though you use get or post doesn't matter for me 
it comes back comes here and ultimately hits this piece of code okay so let me go back to the HTML refresh this and submit okay it is in do in, in, in get method right now right because it is always going to hit this so I should not have given this method name out here it doesn't matter for me okay so irrespective of your do get do post right now we are handling both the scenarios in your do get itself okay any questions folks i hope saroja it uh, would have clear cleared your um, your answers um jayram, yeah. jayram yesterday i asked you about having multiple html file uh -huh. uh, and you said yes you can have right um today i was trying to create like two servlets uh -huh. in one you know um, uh, project okay a web project mm -hmm. but then it looks for a now then i'll have to make changes to the html right specific to that servlet yes you have to do it because you either you, you can use a javascript let's say this one i'm saying form action okay you can have multiple forms also right okay so depending on what form you're using on yeah. what action you're using you have to use that otherwise you still if you yeah. guys are pretty much good at javascript also you can on the fly before even submitting this page okay because when you say submit it basically depends on this name on which particular servlet it has to go now when you use javascript also before even coming to your action you can manipulate your action depending on what kind of uh, uh, functionality you basically want okay so we will see if I if I can I can show you a couple of examples on JavaScript also. Okay. All right. So let us go back to the. Uh, PV. I, I think. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I didn't understand what you tried to tell me now. I'm sorry, Jayram. Um, my question was, mm -hmm. um, see if you if you if I have two servlets there. Okay. And then my my URL pattern mm -hmm. will be in the HTML. Right mm -hmm. to a specific, it is specific to the uh, a, a certain servlet. Now Correct. I have servlet like I'm I'm trying let's say um, servlet one and mm -hmm. two Sa mm -hmm. sample servlet one and uh, I have you know whatever you have you're calling. Okay. And then I have two. In that I want to have more parameters like you have given here. But can I can I have that kind of thing? But because then I'll have to change the HTML. So uh, where the JavaScript comes into picture? So you're saying in this HTML you you want to want to have one more HTML? Yeah. No. So Same what I, what I'm asking you is mm -hmm. like okay right now the URL is student uh, hello students right? right and then I have hello student two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The servlet two. The, I have another servlet that is pointing to another URL within okay. the same package mm -hmm. within the same project so let us see let us create a new uh, file here uh, hello servlet 2 okay so i created hello servlet 2 out here and this is your 2 and this is let's say 2 correct yeah go ahead yeah. okay so now um for this i if i want to point to servlet 2 mm -hmm. Then I will have to change the HTML file. You have to change it out here. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So at one point of time, um, I, I, I will have only one HTML file that mm, I will be using. No, within. that's what I was trying to make you understand here. When you use a JavaScript, okay, even though you have a single okay. uh, file here, single HTML, now. Okay. Depending on your action, it either goes to your hello student or it, it might oh, go to your hello student okay. too. So what happens okay. basically when you do a submit in the JavaScript itself, you can change this name dynamically. Oh, okay. Okay. When you Got change it. this name, okay. you submit automatically. Okay. Uh, it goes to that particular servlet. Okay. Okay. So JavaScript is the is the uh, script that uses with HTML. Yes, you in, can, H, in HTML. Yes, in HTML, you basically use okay. JavaScripting for your client side validation. Okay. Oh, great. Now, oh, what do you mean by client side validation? Uh, just to give you a brief idea. Now, here I basically let's say I have got one more field as 
email id okay now i know that uh, email okay and this is your first name okay now i know that uh, a, a email should be in a particular format itself right so if i come back here go back and refresh this page right so if i just give email as uh, hello it will it should not basically take up this information right it should not first of all send the request to the server it should have something some validation in the client itself so when i say it's client my browser is the client so when i do a submit it should not move this page it should do a client side validation in that case you basically use a javascript in order to do a client side validations okay okay thank you very much okay so um, yep yeah. all right so we spoke about the init method uh, you can see it's called only once when the subreddit is first loaded we even saw uh, the init method simply creates or loads some data that will be used throughout the life cycle of a server okay even we'll I will try to talk about some other uh, uh, properties of your init method also okay now we spoke about service method uh, now we even spoke about the do get the do post okay so the get request uh, results from a, a normal request for a url or from a html form that has no method specific and should be handled by your do get okay and the same thing it, you are going to handle this by using your do post okay so i'm just reiterating uh, so that i don't uh, miss out any any other points all right so even you have a destroy method you can even override your destroy method also the way we have overridden the init method we can even uh, override your destroy method also okay now here if you can see here uh, just to understand one thing we have already spoken about threads right now what happens when you it's not only me who is going to access my uh, hello.html or when it's not only me who is going to submit the page as this is going to be in the internet okay this could be accessed by 10 people 100 people 1000 people it doesn't matter okay so what happens when you do a submit okay so what happens when you do a submit how many requests comes to the servlet okay now where is my ppt okay so what happens let's see first the http requests come coming to the servers are delegated to the servlet container so as i said any request which comes up first it hits your container okay because container is the one who is managing your servlet okay now the way you have a virtual machine uh, when we spoke about your core java we have a virtual machine in the virtual machine your object gets created okay now somewhere if you virtualize the same thing out here we have got a container which you can cannot uh, by your eyes you cannot see that again you have to visualize things okay so you have got a container in that you have got all your servlets okay let's talk about a specific servlet so the very first time your http request comes into the server coming to the server are delegated to the servlet container so this is my container the servlet the servlet container loads the servlet before invoking the service method okay so that's what it happens the very first time you invoke any of the servlet the init method gets invoked or the object gets created then the servlet container handles multiple request by spawning uh, multiple threads each thread executing the service method of a single instance of a servlet now if you remember if you go back to the threading concept what we did is we had a single resource and multiple thread used to access the same resource if you remember the threading concept for that reason i was saying threading is one of the important concept to understand here okay now that's what is happening if i open two browser out here let's say open this if i open a internet explorer right so i can this is as as you know i'm having two clients right now so one is your client is your uh, chrome the other client is your internet explorer so i have two things now what happens if i do a submit at the same time what basically happens is two thread will be created thread a and thread b and both will try to access the service method okay so ultimately what happens multiple thread comes into picture uh, the servlet creates multiple thread multiple requests okay so each request will access its own thread and it comes to the service method and the service method is the one which basically gives a uh, takes a request and gives a response back to the 